Hey guys, Matt Dancho here, and I am really excited for this art tip. This is art tip number 85, and I'm going to share with you a new function that I've been working on called GT Summary Tools. And this is really an amazing function that allows you to analyze your data faster in R, and it uses the new GT, which stands for Great Tables, GT and GT Extras packages built on top of those. but it's amazing because now it makes it easier to use it in our markdown documents and just be able to, to run it on your code and get um, a better visualization than the, the uh, older summary tools package. I'll explain more on that here in a second, but really I'm super excited to share with you how to make this type of plot and what it can do for you. Um, so if you follow me, uh, this is the RTIPS newsletter. I'm in RTIP 85 and there's this function that I've been building. It's in this GT summary tools. So if you go, um, it's right down here and uh, I have the summary tools.r file. That's the actual function we'll be using today. And then the code that I'm going to go through to like analyze the data uh, it, with this new function is uh, in this 085 GT summary tools. So you're going to want to open both of those. Um, so here's the function. I'm not going to go through this. It's a lot of code. It's like 400 lines of code. Yes, I spent way too much time building this this weekend, but uh, it's, it's awesome. It, it's way worth it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to share with you how to use it and why I built this function. So um, if you've followed me, uh, I actually did the summary tools uh, our tip. Uh, which is RTIP 84. Um, it's actually, if you go one level up, RTIP 84, it's in here. Um, and I really love that package, but it is, it's an older style of package that um, doesn't play as well. Uh, and there's some newer tools that I'm going to share with you today called GT and GT Extras that actually makes HTML tables much, much prettier and better for reports. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're basically combining summary tools and GT uh, together today. And that's what I've spent quite a bit of time working on. All right, uh, I'm going to load two data sets. Normally, I don't like to split up two data sets, but I want to share, show you kind of examples of some different data that you can analyze with this with these functions. Um, oh, it looks like I got the, I got this thing. Uh, I just need to make sure it's GT summary tools. Control Enter. There we go. And same thing here. Make sure I get the file paths here all s situated okay all right so um, why did I create this well uh, the GT extras package by Thomas mock actually has this really amazing function called GT PLT summary and um, what it does is uh, if I just run this without the, the theme on it it makes kind of a, a, a cool um, visual of uh, your data so for example um, it shows you like the missing, the mean, the median, standard deviation, which is great. Um, problem is like for categorical data, it really doesn't give us a whole lot of information. It tells you like you've got these like little arrows that you can um, scroll down. Um, but what I prefer to, to use, and this is kind of like the starting point, um, what I prefer to do is I prefer to use this summary tools DF summary, which is what I analyzed in uh, RTIP 84, so my last RTIP. And here's what the summary tools package does. So it makes this really cool um, summary tools DF summary. This is this is uh, what it makes. It, like does these stats values, um, gives you the frequency counts and everything. Um, you know, gives you each of the different data types if it's a character, um, and it tells you and it gives you kind of like an idea of the split. And and um, so this is actually, in my opinion, a better uh, summary. And it allows me to analyze my data a lot faster. But the problem is, is that this table here, um, it's it's kind of it's it's not um, what I would call a GT table, which is something that's like easy to integrate into like our markdown and whatnot. And I think you can, I think you can integrate it. But um, what my goal was when I started this R tip was to be basically combine these two. So take what the work that Thomas Mock has done and the DF summary and kind of blend those together. So that's what I did. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the source function and it's going to pull in this uh, GT summary tools file. So it's going to pull in this function called GT summary tools. Um, so when I do that, if you go up to your environment, um, you should now have uh, GT summary tools. It should be a function in here right there. Okay. Um, let's run it. So uh, basically uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it without the, the theme um, and I'm going to show you some of the cool things you can do with GT tables, like 
one of the best parts in my opinion is just like being able to update the themes so uh if you check this out so let's let's compare these two so this is the new style this this is exactly what i'm talking about it kind of takes that work that thomas mock has started with that plot summary and builds it up into the summary tools um and you can see here how we can quickly and easily analyze our data very fast we've got uh, each one of these is a column in your table and you can see that column is comprised of two different character values male and female so those are categorical and you can see 50 percent of it is male uh, 49.5 female and you can see a histogram or a plot a bar plot of the categories you can tell how many uh, rows are valid meaning they don't have missing data uh, and we can also see the opposite of that, how much missing data. So this is going to allow me to get a very quick overview of my data set very fast. And that's why I love this thing. Um, same thing for numeric data. I can see what the standard, the mean is, the standard deviation. I can see, you know, you know, it might be challenging to analyze this, but when I look over here at this plot, oh, I can see it's either zero or one. Oh, two distinct values. Okay, that makes sense. So we have very few senior citizens, senior citizen being one. So this is actually kind of a categorical. And I wouldn't know that necessarily if I just like went off of these statistics. Um, same thing, you know, you keep going down through some modern numeric, you can see like really the distribution of tenure. Um, down here you can see monthly charges. So these customers are paying, uh, it looks like there's a big spike up around like $20 a month. And then there's a, another kind of a group that are paying around $150 a month. Oh, okay, so I'm getting lots of insights. You can see um, each of the categories in here, the distributions of each of the categories, and so on. Um, okay, cool. Uh, one of the things I love about GT tables, and this is really the, the power, is you know being able to apply like themes, being able to customize these tables even much more. You can't do that with, um, so this is what the 538 theme, if anybody, any of you guys follow that, see how it's like updated, like all the fonts and stuff. Um, so pretty cool, uh, just with one line of code, um, very nice. Uh, the other thing too, I wanna check out the stock data. So my stock data, um, if I run this, it has a date field in here and it also has a categorical field. These are all are a bunch of different stock symbols. And um, I wanna show you like how uh, dates work. So a date field, um, we can see here that there is a range of dates, 364 uh, data points. Uh, we can see that the min date and the max date, and that's shown over here in the plot as well. Um, we can see that there's a bunch of different um, uh, stocks in here. Sim these are the symbols for each of the stocks. And uh, you can see that they all have about the same distribution. And then it'll cap it at 10 stocks, so or 10 different categories. So if we go b beyond that, they just get lumped into this other category. And that's what we're seeing down here. Um, that's just a, you know, if you have like so many different categories, you know, you don't want to have like uh, a row that just like never ends. Um, okay, cool. So you can see a couple different variants of how, uh, like on different data sets, how this um, uh, awesome GT summary tools function works. So super excited for you guys to try it out. Um, definitely play around with it, try to break it. Um, I probably will uh, make like an R package out of it down the road when I get some free time. But um, I think this is a cool little bonus for uh, all my R tips newsletter folks. Um, also, if you want to learn R deeper and be able to take your data science for business skills to the next level by learning shiny, um, high performance, time series forecasting, machine learning, prediction, all for business. Um, and uh, you want to take that and either grow your career, um, get a new new job, or become a consultant. Uh, I can help you with all those things. Um, I do have a five course art track. It has like 1,800 videos. It has 150 plus hours of video, um, and it's just absolutely the most comprehensive way for you to learn R. So I have a um, actually a, a free R track masterclass where you learn about that program and you also learn about the R programming language. It gives you 10 secrets to uh, learning R. Um, definitely check that out. I'll link the video in the notes and also the video to my, or a link to my R track program if you want to take your R skills to the next level with me. All right, I will see you guys all soon. Bye-bye.